In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up your gaming motherboard and turn it into a mining motherboard. The most common problem is that it does not recognize all the PCIe lanes with your graphics cards and it will only show up three or four graphics cards. But if you do some BIOS setting tunings, you will get them to work. Okay, so before I start the video, I want to tell you that we are probably going to have different brands or different types of motherboards, but they all are going to be about the same. So the BIOSes on the Z170s and the Z270s are about the same, but the settings can be a little bit off on the names that I'm going to show you. So you'll just have to figure out what settings it actually are on your BIOS. It's going to be on a different position or something like that. But it all should be about the same and I recommend taking a picture of all the settings at the end of the explanation here so you know which settings you need to set when you're going to your BIOS. So also the credits are going to Gravel Ghost. He made a really nice common setting for multiple motherboards on a forum. He was so low on the forum I was really disappointed about it because he had the right answers and he was all the way down there with the right answer and nobody actually voted for him to be the right answer and that was really disappointing for him. So that's why I'm giving him the credits full on Gravel Ghost. You did your job really well. So first of all, go to advanced, go to system agent configuration, then go to DMI OPI configuration and set your DMI max link speed to generation one. Next up, go to the same advanced system agent configuration, then go to PEG port configuration and set all the PCIe 16 to generation one. Next up, go to advanced again, the PCH storage configuration and set all the SATA devices that do not have an SSD set to disabled. Next up, go to the same advanced PCH configuration, go to PCI Express configuration and set the PCIe speed to generation one. Then go to the advanced onboard devices configuration and set your HD audio controller to disabled. Next up, go to advance again, the APM configuration and restore the AC power loss and set it to power on. But this is optional. When the power turns out, it will restart your system and it will start mining again. Next up, we also have to set the boot to fast boot disable because then it's really hard to get into the BIOS. And also sometimes it interferes with your GPUs. Also, a really important one is set the boot to above 4G decoding to enabled. In most cases, this will work for Z270 motherboards, but for Z170 motherboards, it mostly requires the latest update in order to work with these settings because sometimes you just set these configurations and your GPUs are still not recognized. So you will need to update your BIOS to the latest and then they will probably work almost 99% sure. But of course, now that we know the settings, we also need to show you how this actually looks in real life. So I'm gonna jump into my BIOS of a Z170 and I'm gonna show you how I set these settings to what I just showed you. Okay, so first of all, you'll have to go to your BIOS and most of the time you can just press Dell or F2 to get into the UEFI BIOS of your Z170 or Z270. And the next step you'll need to do is going to the advanced mode of your BIOS. You can do that by pressing F7 or you can just click the advanced mode tab. Next up, you'll have to go to the advanced tab above or below it will show up on your BIOS. And first of all, we need to go to the system agent configuration and you will see that there is the DMI OPI configuration and the PEG port configuration. But first of all, let's go to the DMI one. So now it's set to auto and we need to set it to generation one. And then we have to go back to the advanced system agent settings to set our PCI or PEG port configuration to all PCI 16s to generation one. This is also on auto and we're gonna change this to generation one. So after you changed it to generation one, you can go back to the advanced tab twice. So you are all the way back into the advanced tab. 
Okay, so the next step is to go to the PCH storage configuration. In here, we need to disable every single SATA cable except the one with the SSD. Okay, so next up we have to go to the PCH configuration and you will see two options in there. One is called an IOA EPIC, but you don't need to touch that one. But you'll have to go to, to the PCI Express configuration. It's above that link over there. And you will need to set your PCIe speed to generation one. Okay, so in the next step, you'll have to go to advanced again and go to the onboard device configuration. In there, you will have to turn your HD audio controller to disabled. Okay, so there is one more thing we need to do in our advanced configuration. This one was optional going to the APM configuration. You can set your restore AC power loss to power on. So after a shortage, your computer will restart. This is really useful for mining uh, farms that want to restart their miners after a power shortage or whatsoever. But we need to do one more thing. We have to go to the boot tab and we need to change two more settings. Our fast boot is going to be disabled and we are gonna set our above 4G decoding to enabled. That one is really important for this setup. This will make it way better on performance and recognizing the PCIe slots. So after you've done all these things and changes, you can go back to the easy mode or just save it straight from the BIOS over there. But I always go to the save and exit on the easy mode because it gives you a nice overview of what you changed. And after that, you can just press OK and your computer will restart. I recommend you to reinstall your drivers uh, so that it will definitely recognize all of your graphics cards at the same time. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video today. Make sure to leave a like and see you guys in the next one.